Share free latest UiPath ADPV1 exam questions for your preparation. 1. What is the purpose of the interval filter in the orchestrator's monitoring page? A. It enables you to sort the displayed data based on job priorities. B. It allows you to choose between background and foreground processes for the displayed data. C. It allows you to allocate licenses per machine for the displayed data. D. It allows you to control the granularity of the displayed data and check the health of your system in either the last day or the last hour. Answer. D. 2. A developer examines a workflow in which file names are stored within a collection. The collection is initialized with a single file name. When adding a new file name to the collection, which collection variable type will cause an error? A. System. Collections. Generic. Dictionary. B. System. Collections. Generic. List. C. System. Array. D. System. Data. Data table. Answer. C. 3. When should the Show Elements button be used in the Computer Vision Wizard? A. Highlighting all L elements that have been identified by the Computer Vision Analysis. B. Displaying a list of all available L elements and their properties. C. Activating a real-time view of the target AGP caret SL during automation. D. Filtering out specific UL elements from being processed by the computer vision engine. Answer. A. 4. Where is the transaction number incremented in the RE framework? A. Only in the retry current transaction. XAML workflow. B. Only in the set transaction status. XAML workflow. C. In the new transaction transition. D. In the retry current transaction. XAML workflow and in the set transaction status. XAML workflow. Answer. B. 5. What is the purpose of credential stores in UiPath Orchestrator? A. To store non-sensitive data and configuration settings for UiPath Studio projects. B. To store orchestrator event loose and related data for auditing purposes. C. To securely store sensitive data such as robot credentials and credential assets for use in automation processes. D. To serve as a centralized location for storing pre-built automation workflows and processes. Answer. C. 6. Which of the following statements is true about the existing UiPath Studio installation packages? A. The attended robot installation package installs only the UiPath robot. B. The unattended robot installation package installs only UiPath Studio, Assistant, and Robot. C. The attended robot installation package installs only UiPath Studio and Robot. D. The automation developer installation package installs only UiPath Studio, Assistant, and Robot. Answer. A. 7. What is a prerequisite for running functional test cases in RE framework? A. Invoke process XAML file. B. Invoke set transaction status XAML file. C. Invoke main XAML file. D. Invoke init AII settings XAML file. 
Answer. D. 8. What role do triggers play in the UiPath integration service? A. Provide a mechanism for subscribing to specific events from third-party applications. Automatically starting processes in Orchestrator. B. Assist in the creation of automation projects by providing event-based activities. C. Manage connections between UiPath Studio and third-party applications. D. Provide a mechanism for starting processes on a scheduled basis from Orchestrator. Answer. A. 9. Which of the following options is correct about a state machine layout? A. Can have only one initial state and multiple final states. B. Can have only one initial state and only one final state. C. Can have multiple initial states and multiple final states. D. Can have multiple initial states and only one final state. Answer. A. 10. A developer needs to create a repetitive process in the RE framework. Following the best practices, which actions should be performed to defend against potential robot crashes such as out of memory? A. Build a script that compares current CPU usage values to a threshold and clears data as needed. B. After every transaction, clear the transaction data, close the applications, and reopen the applications. C. Add a clear collection activity at the beginning of the process. XAML workflow. D. All invoke workflow file activities from the main XAML file should be marked with the isolated option. Answer D.